And tonight at 11, we're going from the dangerous cold to accumulating snow, and it is already causing issue for drivers out there with snow-covered roads and limited visibility. And again, some more live pictures tonight as crews are out right now clearing snow from the streets before they put down any salt on the interstate. Take a look at the moon there between the trees. Yeah, it's coming down right now. In fact, oh, that yeah. snow has been falling for a few hours and it's causing several schools to delay class tomorrow morning. Our meteorologist Angela Buckman tonight is working very hard to keep all of us weather aware. And the question tonight is, Angela, how much snow are we expecting overnight into the, to the morning? We're still going to keep that three to five inch snow band from about Indianapolis north and east. In this area, we're already getting reports of one to almost two. Officially, just about a half inch of snow on the ground at the airport, the National Weather Service office down on the southwest side of Marion County. So highest total totals still appear to be across the northern and eastern sections of our viewing area. Greencastle, Martinsville, Shelbyville, Greensburg, Columbus, one to three. Once you move south of there, about an inch, and we are concerned with perhaps some icing conditions that may develop first thing tomorrow morning. We are tracking snow and some of it heavy at times. Take a look at this heavy snow band between Alexandria and Anderson covering the central sections of Madison County. Now it's east into Muncie. Heavy snow, Fishers into Greenfield. Also some pockets of heavy snow between Lafayette and Crawfordsville along and just east of 231. And we're starting to see the snow pick up a bit in intensity around Bloomington, Nashville, and Columbus. And we're not done with the snow yet. The back edge of this weather system still across Illinois. And we're watching this piece of energy to impact the southwestern part of the state with perhaps some icy conditions. Lots to cover still in the full forecast. And we'll do it in a few minutes. All right. We'll see you then, Angela. Thanks. Hey, you know, we only had a small break between the mm -hmm. sub-zero temperatures and now, of course, the snow tonight. That's right. But during that time, Indoc was coming up with a plan to keep all of us safe this evening. We've got David McAnally joining us live from downtown Indianapolis to show it, show us what they're doing. David? Scott, across the street there on the other side of uh, Meridian Street, you can see the private plow already at work. You can see the people working on their muscles, uh, getting their shovels out. Uh, this snow's been gone for about three hours now. Look like we measured about three quarters of an inch here. INDOT's going to be out all night trying to make these roads safe. At IPS School 67 on the west side, for moms like Kelly Willoughby, a week of either no school or two-hour weather delays. It's kind of difficult, you know, not knowing with the weather how it's going to be, but every morning I wake up and just watch the news to see if he goes to school or not. Her dad's been able to do child care, but for others... It does make it hard with parents that work. On any bus, ask any kid about the weather week it's been. Difficult, hard. especially very, very difficult. Uh, doing with, like, schoolwork and stuff. It's uh, hard to keep track with it and keep up with it. Now facing some significant snow Friday on top of this week's critical cold. What's worse, the intense cold or the snow? The cold. It's cold. 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 I can deal with the snow. That I can deal with. Uh, it's just uh, the cold that touches your hand when you don't got gloves or something on. They're anxious to know what the snow will mean for a school Friday. And in a West Side Walmart parking lot, stranger helping stranger. Second time the, the cold air has killed my battery completely. <laughs> you, had, you had the cables and you had a willing helper. Yeah, thankfully. Second time today. He's not alone with travel trouble. Here's I-465 in Rockville. Passing a city snowplow. And look at the back of that pickup up there. It's full of new snow shovels. Some just can't wait for snow. Busy day of plowing tomorrow? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it. Make some money? Yeah. For INDOT, the work started Thursday night. We are at a full call out tonight, which means we have about 60 trucks in the Indianapolis area in central Indiana. They'll be out um, hitting slick spots. And for your morning commute, remember this. But there is going to be snow on the roads because uh, road temperature is so cold right now. You're going to see a little snow on the road, um, but we will try to get it get it clear and get it at least to the sides to get it out of the way for you on your morning drive. And talk about getting it clear. These guys are starting early. They probably have the old method where you start, get it a few times a night, and then you have little to do each time. Uh, the crew is, again, going to be out all night. Uh, the thing to watch for also tomorrow, when those plows are out on the road, make sure you leave plenty of room so they can get through and do the job. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, always good advice. David, thank you. And